Okay, this is like the seventh, eighth, ninth take, I don't bloody know. Final take, whatever's going to happen, anyway. The first part of this video is going to be a little ranty, or rather ranty. So if you'd like to skip forward to the information about the new bike frames I've got, new projects, then feel free to do so. If not, I will continue. So, in short, I was downstairs with that lad that's uh, barring my giant at the minute and has given me like got a bike frame here, I've got another one in the outside cupboard, I've got another one on the landing from his friend actually that one uh, anyway we were out back and I was just um, giving his friend's bike a bit of attention, it needed a few things done to it um, and for some reason this lady that was visiting the old lady at the bottom kept shutting the door on me while I was outside. I kept opening it and she kept coming back and closing it. So um, I didn't think much more of it to be honest. But uh, then, because the old lady at the bottom wasn't actually in, she was out, she came walking down with her little zero frame because she is quite frail. She had some falls and broke her hip. But, uh, she was with another woman, and, uh, I could hear her clear as day, because, you know, we were like a touching, poking distance from each other. She was chittering about the bikes locked up to the railing, so I just sort of politely shouted through, I just can't get in my shed door at the minute, that's why they're there. And, uh, left it at that. Then a little while later... Actually, I'd gone upstairs because I was getting my sockets for the ratchet. And I'd come back down. And, uh, The old lady that actually lives at the bottom came out. And just started having a go. And, uh threatening that if I didn't move the bike she was going to report me to victory and just cheering that they shouldn't be there I shouldn't be doing bikes out there even though it's a communal area and I've never been told by victory that I can't do things like that out there I mean I'm in a flat where the fuck else am I supposed to do them apart from up here and if I do it up here I then piss off my neighbour below me because obviously I only do it during the day, but still, you know, he can hear me if I... I'm clumsy. Part of having... or one of the symptoms of having autism in some people is a few dyspraxic symptoms, which means I actually drop tools. I try my best not to, but it still happens a bit, well, a lot more frequently than I'd like, and I have good days and bad days with that. But yeah, it's a hand-eye coordination thing. I could just be screwing a screw in, whereas most people would get the screw all the way in, my hand would do so many turns and then it would just let go of the screwdriver. <laughs> That's what dyspraxia is. It would just <coughs> boom, straight on the floor or on the ground. Same with a spanny and I'd be going like that and doing up and that and then all of a sudden after four or five turns with the spanner, I've dropped the spanner. So it's annoying. But after all these years, I'm used to it. So, you know, on a nice day like this, granted I was on the footpath, but what really got me up is how she came out bitching and moaning and saying, you know, we've got to walk on the footpath. But she could have just come out and said in a polite way, could you please not do that on the footpath because we need to get to the laundry room. And I just said, yeah, okay, well, you know, I can move on to the gravel, not a problem. 
in hindsight, I'm kind of thinking I should have done it on the gravel anyway, but it's a bit late now. <laughs> um, but after all that, she then started accusing me of doing something I never did. Because a few weeks ago, I was actually sitting up here, it was a lovely hot day, and I could hear some men out back talking, and I could hear a shovel being scraped on the gravel and whatnot. Didn't think much more of it until I went outside later on and saw three blue lines painted underneath, on the ground, underneath the old girl's bathroom and hallway around the drain pipe. So I thought, oh, well, maybe they're, you know, marking it to do some work. Because that's why they usually spray lines and whatnot on the ground. But I haven't seen them for about three weeks, so I don't know if they've forgotten, changed their mind, or what. But I presume that was something to do with Victory. Uh, so she was going to, you know, ring Victory and report that as well. And report me for having my bikes there and saying the council will remove them, they'll cut the locks and remove them, and if you don't move them, blah blah blah. And, uh,. I tried more than once to explain the situation with the shed door because yes it can be opened yes I can open it but that door is seriously fucking heavy and I use a bike every day more than once so I am not giving myself a hernia by lugging that door repeatedly throughout the day open and closed and screwing it shut as well to stop the fucking thing from falling onto someone maybe I shouldn't bother I should just leave it and hope it does fall on someone and that might actually speed victory's repair up You know, as bad as that sounds, it probably would be true. If someone got hurt by that door, they'd, spit up, they'd soon come out and repair the door. <clears throat> but uh, it just seemed to not even enter one ear. It just seemed to just... <whistles> straight over the top, literally. Or she'd take note for, like, literally a few seconds. Even the two lads that were with me tried to explain. A lot calmer than I was. I'll give them credit for that. Maybe I was too agitated um, so and I did drop the F word a bit but her care nurse turned up and of course the old girl told her and she said do you really need to be that disrespectful to an old lady and I was like but she's just been out here shouting at me and accusing me of doing things I haven't done but I'm disrespectful just from throwing in a few F words either I'm actually missing something or maybe I'm just not seeing something and I was but to me respect is earned not just given you know I'm not going to I'll have respect for anyone, right? I'll have that certain level of respect for anyone. But I'm not going to automatically give respect just because you're old. If you're going to be nasty to me, I'll be nasty back, regardless of age. Well, apart from a little kid, of course. Because kids will be kids, but if you're an adult, either older or younger than me, I'm going to give as good as I get. Maybe I take after Mum too much with that one, because she's just like that. If someone starts on her, she'll start on them as well, and just give as much verbal. <laughs> I mean... I didn't... It's not like I was calling her any names or anything, you know. I will not be abusive, not in that sense. Anyway, like I said, I only dropped the F word a few times. At least that's all I can remember. No. I'm 100% certain I did not 
you know, call her any nasty names or anything. I was a yeah, I was agitated. Maybe, granted, I probably could have reacted better. You know, I'm not going to stand or sit here and say, you know, I'm perfect, I didn't do anything wrong at all. Maybe the way I replied wasn't good when I now look back at it and I actually do feel a bit guilty for swearing and whatnot. And I do feel that in that respect I do owe her an apology but at the same time I don't appreciate being accused of things I haven't done and I don't appreciate people not listening because she was talking over me as well I was trying to explain to her and she was just talking over me she just wasn't having any of it and that's probably what really got my back up and really ticked me off because I'm trying to explain you know what the situation was with the shit door and whatnot, and <coughs> yeah <laughs> right 11 minutes so I managed to shorten that ramp down <sighs> and then PayPal pissed me off this afternoon. I sold my Acer laptop and Nintendo to the same buyer for a grand total, I think, of 40 odd pounds. I can't remember exactly. We'll have a look because I can't remember. £7.95 for postage through my Hermes, so. Um, they must have already done that quote. I'm guessing this person has per purchased things like this many times before because he seemed to have uh, knew exactly what the rough weight was of that sort of laptop and the Nintendo and whatnot. So I'm guessing he might be a dealer or something. Which doesn't bother me, you know, it's money in my pocket at the end of the day. Didn't pay nothing for the Nintendo Wii and I've made a loss on the laptop, but oh well. <coughs> you win some, you lose some, and pardon me. <laughs> mm. Tastes like beef burger and fish cakes. Which is what I had for dinner. <laughs> so they are holding forty-five pounds and forty pence. So I've got nearly, nearly 50 quid there that I can't touch. <laughs> £3.65 available balance. And postage is 7 95 I've got the postage in coins. But I've got to get those coins into my bank account. <laughs> um... I'd like to do it as fast as possible. Because um, they're, they're holding this payment for up to 21 days. So, yeah, I want to get it um, booked and paid for through my Hermes as fast as possible. You know, at least by Thursday. So I may go to the bank tomorrow and see if they'll let me <laughs> pay in eight pounds in pound coins into my bank. That will actually cover. Well, that will actually give me nine pounds because I think there's one pound something in there. So that would cover the postage if I did that. Uh, then I could book that for collection Thursday. Oh shit, that's what I forgot. I've got to get a pack of plain paper because I can't print bloody postage label. Fudge. Um, I suppose I could always put £5 in because I can switch this £3 across 
into my bank account with the pound in there that would give me four so yeah if I stuck five pounds in that'd be enough I'll have enough left over for um, who do Madinky want, want what's it um, paper why is it people message me when I'm on camera North Norsh I'm ongoing I haven't even heard the appliance go out <laughs> Either that or I'm going deaf. <laughs> oh, please tell me you two aren't bickering. <sighs> Put your friggin' handbags away. tell me about it. I put several statuses up regarding this morning's drama. My cousin has actually said the oldies can be worse than the young'uns. Tell me about it. Ooh. I sometimes wonder how my mum and my sister can work and care. I couldn't do it, I don't think. I wouldn't have the patience and I would end up dropping several F-words like I did today. <laughs> So it's probably safer that I don't. Uh, but, uh, what can you do? Anyway, on a good note, I have got some bikes to do up at least. I've got that Apollo down there somewhere. Black and red one. The FS26. I'm sure I had one of these before. I'm not just sure this was the one. <laughs> well, it's got the chain and everything already attached, it just needs pedals, cables, gear shifters, different handlebar, seat post, I've got a box full, and oh, brake blocks, which I've got a box full, <laughs> and that'll be ready to go. And I'll put that out for 30 quid when it's done. When it's done. I've got the wheels in the cupboard. That's probably going to be the biggest pain to go and dig out the pair of wheels. That yeah, reminds me. Do I want to relist some items on eBay? Or do I find something new? Because I've got these um, memory sets, RAM sets to put up. Well, I'm not going to bother with the bus because I didn't even get any bloody views at all. Bloody hell. Ten brake cables for a bicycle, two pounds and some odd pence. I just saw on here. Paid, post now, come. It's in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Can't anyway, because I haven't got the cash. What the fuck? I've been watching this Lego train for a week or so now. And it started at £80. Then it went up a few pounds. And then it went up to £118. And now it's dropped to £108. Is this... Ah. Is it in the UK? Because if it's not, it might fluctuate depending on exchange rate. No, it's in the United Kingdom, so... Why is it... They've got two available, so... I don't understand why the price is fluctuating so much. It's got 100% positive feedback. I've been watching that because I've been wanting to get some money together to uh, buy it, you know, or buy one for my town, so I have a nice uh, passenger train to go round. It's 
what I was thinking of. That's why I'm watching it. It's ridiculous. It really is. I'm going to relist. Whoops. I'm going to relist the rod breaks. Because that might have been the time of day that put people off bidding on that one. So now it's coming up to quarter to ten. I'll relist that one. And I'm going to do the same with the rally crank. I think they're the only ones I'm going to relist. For now. Yeah. That might get me a few pounds in. Because I was also hoping, you know, I'd get all that cash and I'm going to buy these. And get my caboose built. That ain't gonna bloody happen. Right. <sighs> Twenty one minutes, I think that's long enough. I'm gonna pour a drink from the bottle out of the fridge, I think. Because Nemo wants some food anyway. Uh, autism doesn't come with a manual, it comes with a parent who never gives up. Well, actually, we didn't know I had autism when I was younger. When you found out last year. <laughs> what I say. That's what I say. What if mum or someone's got a five pound note? That would just make life easier. If I could change that for a five pound note, I could just go in the bank and pay it in, in their, with their machine. And I haven't got to go and bug a cashier. Anyway, I've got the Wii in there. That, unfortunately, isn't going to be big enough to house the laptop. Do with a box like that, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not using that box, though, because that's for my Technic set. Um, I'll find something. I've got... No doubt I've got something. Or I could box them separately and just take the boxes together. That would work as well. I've just got to find a box for the laptop. <laughs> okay. All this junk and shit everywhere and I can't find... No, it's not going to go in that box. It would go in that box but it's full of light bulbs and I've got nothing to put the light bulbs in. Um... <laughs> when I was in the shed earlier, because while I disappeared to go and get them other bike frames and bits I thought I'd uh, just reorganize the shed and get those brake lee not brake levers gear shifters and things out and when I cleared my shed um, shelf in the shed I moved all the black um, rags and things as fucking respite I went running across it and down the back and I was like yeah you can stay down the back now I might not be as uh, scared of spiders as I used to be, but I still don't like them. <laughs> right, well, I'll worry about packing that up later or tomorrow or something. Because uh, this box with the Wii in, I might, you know, just trim down. I think I can, think I can get away with it. Yeah. Not unless I can get a box out of Sainsbury's or somewhere, slightly bigger one.
I'll think of something tomorrow. Make something up if I have to. Right. Might even be something down in the recycling bins I could pinch. Who knows? Or even over there in the recycling bins. Come to think of it. Anyway, 25 minutes now. I'm going to shut up because I keep trying to keep this video short. So, um... Yeah, I've got this bike. I've got a few bike frames out there. I've got Universal, which I may not even bother doing. But I've got some parts to do some bikes and finish some bikes off that are at Mum's. So, yeah, I've got plenty to get on with. So, thanks a lot for watching. It's much appreciated, even though I'll probably bore you all half to death anyway. Yeah. I guess I'll be doing bikes tomorrow, so that's tomorrow planned. And packing. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all tomorrow at some point, and hopefully I will have a better day. So, uh, ta for now.